Introduction Tesla was right. He believed that electricity flowed through the atmosphere and that it could be harnessed. Harnessed by man to power every home, every school, hospital, and factory in the country. And power them for free. He was right about everything but the factories. Those have been outsourced to China or India or South America to increase profits for shareholders, a word that fuels images of banks and Wall Street and everything that is wrong with this country. To mention my name in the same paragraph as the great Nikola Tesla would be an act of disrespect to a man I can only hope will one day be better spoken of in the history books. My real name is Randy Harris, but everyone calls me Rod because I was struck by lightning when I was a kid. Twice. The first time I was six years old and I didn't want to go to school. I really didn't want to go to school. I kept wishing and wishing and wishing. I was still young enough to believe in wishes, but I no longer believed in Santa thanks to my older brother and sister cluing me in on who really does the making a list and checking it twice. It was always the checking it twice part that got me. The next thing I remember is waking up in a hospital because lightning had struck me through my window. It also shorted our air conditioner that was right outside my bedroom. The Channel 7 meteorologist said it was a freak accident as the nearest storm was at least six miles away at the time. I ended up on the news and everything. I learned to be very careful of what I wished for. I didn't have to go to school for almost a week. The next time I was 13, and it was the final game of the New York State Little League Baseball State Championships. My team had won the New York Little League State title the previous two seasons. The Buffalo Sign Company had already showed us the new State Champs sign to match the previous two signs over left and right field. The new sign was to be placed over center field and was bigger than the other two, and you could tell quite a bit more work was put into it. Three years straight, it read across the top. The second time, I was holding an aluminum bat, so this was less of a shock to the scientists at Buffalo State. I became a little bit of a celebrity at my school because the news outlets ran a story about me that went viral about lightning actually does strike twice. It had started to sprinkle a bit, but only a little. It was already the fifth inning of the seven we were scheduled to play. The game had to be decided that night because both teams were from across the state. I wasn't knocked out this time. Maybe it was because I was older, or maybe it was because the off button on our cheap lawnmower didn't work and I had to use a stick and disconnect the spark plug to turn it off. That trick had sent electrical charges through my veins at least a dozen times. Sometimes I would just wait for it to run out of gas, or only put in enough gas for it to run until I estimated it would take me to finish. This was different. This was nothing like the lawnmower experience. Witnesses told me I was thrown at least five or six feet in the air. If only cell phone videos had existed back then, I could probably have retired 30 years ago on the YouTube views alone. The doctor said I was fine afterwards. But for the next few weeks, I would get shocked by static electricity if I touched anything metal. We lost our game because they called it after my incident, and at the time, we were down two to one. We had already played five innings, so the game counted. The sign company had to paint the words runner-up across the top of the sign. The sign and the field where we used to play are both long gone, but I will forever be known as Rod. People who used to ask me what it felt like to be struck by lightning, my public answer was always the same. It's a shocking experience. Or that it hurts like hell, because it does. Privately, I had another word, but I was too scared to tell anyone at the time, even my best friend Dave, or even admit it to myself. That word was power. Power.